This is Daily Affirmations with Stuart Smalley. Stuart Smalley is a caring nurturer, a member of several 12-step programs, but not a licensed therapist. I'm going to do a terrific show today, and I'm going to help people. Because I'm good enough, I'm smart enough, and doggone it, people like me. Hello, I'm Stuart Smalley. Well, I still am receiving some negative feedback for when I mistakenly posed for a picture with the two former colleagues and pretended to grope her when she was asleep. The photo has been all over social media and the woman recently went public with it. I have to admit it was a bad and offensive joke, but that's okay. I have to give myself permission to make bad jokes every now and then. One more reminder for those of you who are not seeing this right now, rather hearing it through headphones on your phone, please wear a mask, especially if you are in a grocery store. I don't care if it's Cub, Hy-Vee, or Whole Foods. Wear a... <laughs> I'm not going to say any vulgar words, but please wear a mask. The only reason I'm not wearing one is that I'm safe in my own home that I have cleaned at least six times today. Okay? Okay. For those of you who watch the show regularly, you know that I never have guests. I always do the show alone. And that's okay. But yesterday, my producer said, Stuart, I can get you a guest that you would love to have on the show. So I decided to take a risk. And in life, you know, you have to take risks. So without further ado, please welcome the President of the United States, Donald Trump. Hello, Mr. President, or should I call you Donald J? I'll protect your anonymity. Thank you, Stuart. How are you? Now, Donald J. Trump, uh, you recently decided to wear a mask in public, as the majority of Americans are doing, to prevent exposure to the coronavirus. Can you tell us what finally decided to make you do your patriotic duty and wear a well, mask? Well, Stuart, Jared and Ivanka finally convinced me that it was the right thing to do because if it's uh, what the experts say it's the right thing to do, then you have to believe them. But where we may have a problem is, is if someone is in church or uh, working at a construction site or at a restaurant waiting to be, to be seated and um, they have a heart attack and they die, uh, there's a fatality. Especially if it's a young child in school, you, you, we may have to tell the CDC to re-examine the, the mandate. So we'll just, we'll just have to see. We'll have to see, and it's St. Patrick's Day, and I have a beard, so I look a little bit different than I normally do. But uh, that's because Don Jr. helped uh, guide me on my appearance today. So you know. Well, there must be a lot of pressure for you to make decisions that affect everyone in the world. I bet you spend a lot of sleepless nights saying, I'm not good enough, and everyone is better than me. I will not get more votes in the next election than Joe Biden. I have no business being president. Wrong. Not true. Not true. Well, you know, Donald, denial is not just a river in Egypt. But that's okay. It's disagreements that makes the world, well, maybe not the world, but this country go around. Well, you know what? That, that's so true. So true, Stuart. Uh, unless you're the liberal media, okay? I mean, it's fake news. Uh, everything that, that differs from my opinion is not true. And I only listen to facts that affirm what I already believe, and nobody is going to tell me any different. Now I am the president, and anything I shit, uh, anything I say should be praised. And when we win another four years, and we're going to win another four years, it's going to happen. We're going to build the wall. When we win another four years, they're going to be very sorry. They'll say, "Oh no, we, we were so so not fair to you, Mr. President." And they're going to have to. They might just have to ha have to suffer some consequences. Uh, when they realize how unfair they were to this administration. Oh, okay. Well, I understand the need for recognition for one's accomplishments, but uh, the it's not really your... The people who are the haters don't exist, Stuart. It, people who actually exist respect me and everything I've ever said and built because, like, I'm 
a really smart guy. And I, you saw the recent test, person, man, woman, camera, TV. There's a lot of cameras around here, so if there were more than one cameras, it would have been a really tough test. So I, I went to an Ivy League school, right? I, I, it, real live people respect me. It's total respect. And I have a great relationship with the police. I love our police and they love me. Blue Lives Matter. It's, it, it's a great relationship that, as I've said many times before, Stuart, many times I could walk down the middle of Fifth Avenue and shoot someone, shoot a radical left protester of, of a poorly run Democrat democratic city and I wouldn't lose any votes and the cops wouldn't arrest me. And my people, everyone would just fall down to their knees. They would take a knee for me. In fact, I am the only person in the world anyone should ever take a knee, a knee to, except Jesus. People should kneel for Jesus. Well, course. okay, I'm sure you are entitled to such a positive ideal of yourself, kind of like a savior of sorts. No, bigger and better than Jesus. Bigger and better than John Lennon of the Beatles. Well, if that's what you believe, then so be it. But Donald, I really would like to move on to my next question. Actually, I will once again frame it as a statement. Uh, Fred Trump Sr., your father, right? Uh, there must be times when you turn off Fox News and call Melania on the phone, even though she's in the next room, and tell her, oh, look, you know, geez, hon, after all I've accomplished, all this, gosh darn it, we would be, my father would be disappointed in me. Totally untrue. I don't know where you're getting that, Stuart. I mean, but it's a disgrace. My father was a great man. He knew weakness when he saw it, kind of how you're being weak right now, but go on. Well, I did read some passages from your niece's book, Too Much and Never Enough, so that's where I got it. She's a total liar. She's, she's not rich. She's trash. She's but Donald, a loser. do you sometimes think that you'll never total be loser. enough for Trump Sr.? No, I... I, I, I Stuart... I, no, he loved me 100% unconditionally. It was on condition that I pay him back the million dollar loan with interest, which I did. I did. It wasn't easy, but I did it. Oh, I see. How does that make you feel? Totally fantastic, because I knew I would be able to do it. But it wasn't easy. It was tough. Okay, well, I know that you t like to talk about how you went to school, to an Ivy League Correct, school. Correct, the Wharton School of Design at the University of Pennsylvania. Very prestigious, very hard to get into even today. But back then, it was really hard to get into. I was the, I was, I was, I passed because I was brilliant. You also claim to have the best grades in your class. I was the most smartest kid, all A's, got all A's. You also claimed that in military school, you were the greatest baseball player your coach had ever seen. The absolute best. Way better than even the great Roberto Clemente. Now, this is important because no one really ever talks about it. I understand that your high school alma mater filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy in 2015, which was later bought by a Chinese China, company. China bought it and it still exists, but it's a disaster. Is this one of the reasons you're so hard on China? Uh, totally. A hard yes, you'd have to say. I see. Well, see, when I look at that once great school, and it was a great school, the best in the state, fantastic school, it's a shame that the state of New York didn't do enough to restore it because they threw in the towel and they let the Chinese have it. They let the communists have it. And you go to the academy now and it looks like a poorly run democratic, Democrat city with lawlessness, total lawlessness, they 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 need to they need to bring back discipline. I say we're getting too nice, we're getting too soft on our military recruits. And what why what are they, why are they even dying? Why are they even going off to war anyway? Moving on. When we train them so poorly, you, poorly like that. And you are very respected for this. Do not drink alcohol. Yes, that's true. And that is because your brother. Uh, Fred Jr. Yes, that's Freddy right. or has alcoholism. Yes, that's right. Freddie always told me not to drink. Not told me not to drink, and I never have. To this day, never drank, never smoked. Can you imagine how insanely crazy I would be if I drank or smoked? It, it, it'd be a totally different person. You'd say this guy is psycho. Tweets too much on his phone on the toilet. Thank God I'm not like that, right? <laughs> 
I know you used humor when answering this question in the past, but I think it's appropriate to ask it again. What would you be like if you drank alcohol? I would most certainly not be a great leader like Vladimir Putin. I mean, he's a nice guy, and I know he drinks alcohol. He takes his shirt off, too. It's kind of hot. But I would... I would... I would not be a, lead, a great leader like him, I, or like Maduro in Venezuela. I'd be more like a Rodrigo Duarte of the Philippines, Erdogan of Turkey, uh, President Xi of China, President for Life. We're, we're trying to get that in the Constitution here. Wouldn't we, wouldn't we like President for Life? I think that'd be a good title. I would be a mess, okay? I would be worse than my brother. In fact, I'd let him down. And you let your father down as well? Absolutely. Okay, that's fair. Fair game. And I love hearing that, Stuart. You know, I love when people suck up. People did it all the time on The Apprentice, and uh, it got them far. In some cases, maybe a little too far. But And Stuart, what people have to realize is that a president has total authority. Absolute total authority. Okay. More authority than you've ever seen in your whole um, life. More money than you've ever seen. Have you ever seen a million dollars, Stuart? Well, we are out of time. This is so. not going anywhere. This show has been a disaster. A disaster All you do is talk about how great you are, how you can do whatever you want, Mr. High and Mighty, the greatest president that has ever lived, as your proud boys say. And I am about a not bad true. comedian not who true. lost his seat on the Senate floor. Even my movie was a flop. Nothing ever, ever goes right. I am a fraud and a loser. I don't deserve to be a host on this show. At least, though, I can admit that, and you can't even admit your shortcomings. Wrong. Uh, my, my comings are very tall and long, and you're even crying now as I'm describing them and all their beauty. I, I have very large comings, and that's and it's not true, Stuart, actually, though. Your show has done a lot of good. I mean, you've helped a lot of people. Ah, uh, thanks. Do you really mean that? No, because uh, I'm just kidding. Your show sucks. And in fact, I should be the host because right now there is nobody that can do it better than me. Well, maybe Sean Hannity, but he basically sucks up to me. So I'm the greatest there ever was, greater than Muhammad Ali, and I am the closest person to God. In fact, I very well may be God. Jesus could be my son, much better than Don, Eric, even Ivanka. Jesus, Jesus is my son. Well, you're entitled to your own opinion. It's the best you know, opinion out there. I am Robert and you are glue. Well, I guess your words can't save you now and save you anymore. I just been informed a warrant has been issued for your arrest for the incitement at the Capitol on January 6th. So we have to end this show. But I would you like to recite an affirmation before they haul you away in cuffs? Yes, Any yeah. last words? Yes, I, I would. No, I will not because I'm innocent and in fact I will okay, well, that's I will fight we like hell until my, all my legal defenses are exhausted. Good night, Stuart, and may God bless everyone that agrees with me and everyone else can go to hell. You are a gorgeous woman, you know that. Thank I, you. Blue, Thank you. Blue Lives Matter is wonderful. Uh, so I... I, come on, I, come on. If you want my daughter, I would probably be... If you want friends with Ivanka, would you probably... Are you, you'd be, I'd be dating her. I'd be dating you.